Good morning, God damn it. So this is session two, demo session. So I was coming through the Edinburgh for the day because I had a PT client who didn't show up, which is fantastic. Thank you very much. Um, but I was here for a couple of other things as well, including training. So really nice to get a session in the garage um, as opposed to a really expensive gym because I have a decent barbell and my god it makes a fucking difference um, so deadlifts today uh, didn't use straps so I used straps last week um, for this session uh, I think all the working weights the, I, I didn't use straps for warm ups and then did my first set of six without straps but I just went without uh, I don't know what's happened with the saturation or the contrast in these videos I and mean, I could do post effects but I'm, I don't want to be here all day I just want to get this done um, so it's dark uh, so just same workout um, I was maybe thinking of potentially of uh, repping 260 and could have done but this is like significantly heavier like 60 kilo heavier than I gripped last week so I didn't really want to push that aspect and to be honest I don't really want to push um, many of the aspects for the next two weeks I'm just going to kind of hold uh, where I'm at so probably three workouts um, I'm hoping I can maybe get back to Edinburgh for a day next week and then do another workout, probably this workout, because uh, the bench at David Lloyd's is absolute dog shit. Um, and I just, yeah, I don't know if it's even worth me doing bench press there. I might just do dumbbells instead. Uh, these benches felt okay. I mean, it's kind of funny. It doesn't feel great warming up. Like, 70 felt a bit dodgy. 120 felt like a bit of instability in the left shoulder. Um, but the more sets of this I did, the better it felt, um, which makes me think if I should maybe be doing heavier stuff, like potentially do. I've been thinking about doing maybe supports or high pin press or high board press, just kind of work on that top, not even half, like top quarter range of motion, just to overload uh, rotator cuff and shoulder through that range. That's kind of the range that's giving me the trouble. Um, they actually look really good. Um, I'm very happy with how they look. They didn't feel great. They felt okay, um, but they certainly look a lot easier than they actually felt, which I guess is encouraging. I did four reps on this. Um, so like I said, from last week for this uh, portion of my training, um, I'm just gonna I'll maybe use the reps to overload. So I don't really think that increasing loads the thing for it. Um, so, I don't know, we'll just see how it develops. I mean, I'm not going to put any pressure on it. Um, certainly if I do this, uh, hopefully if I get a chance to do, this, do, to do this session in the garage or even in uh, Cast Iron Strength uh, next week, um, I'll maybe go push the five, four to five on that. And then finishing off on some pause deadlifts, he's felt okay. Uh, pretty good session, happy with it. Got some shoulder rehab in and uh, got the session done for the day. I only, only did two sets on this. I, to be honest, probably didn't have time for more, but uh, I'm probably not going to have time for more through the rest of the week, so I'm just going to keep it consistent. Um, so next session is hopefully going to be Friday, uh, where we're just going to do just straight up volume for everything, just sixes on, on everything, apart from Ben's and David Lloyd. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. Uh, anyway, cheers, and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.